Guys, they said Reverend Funke applauded with Naomi for her understanding and support towards KBAC. You know that recently a lot of things has been going on, but the ones we know and the ones we do not know. You know, and information have it that of all that is happening, the one thing that matters most is that KBAC and the Queen Naomi, they are in a better understanding level this time, especially from the part of Queen Naomi, because we do know that Queen Naomi is a young girl and a woman. And we women, we understand things uh, somehow, sometimes, depending on the individual anyway. But I do know that men understand things better than women sometimes. You know, let me just put that sometimes, like I said, depending on individual. But generally, they will tell you that uh, women are only reasoning forward. They don't think about backward or sideways. That is how life is. But it is not our fault anyway. So, information have it that uh, the family of uh, Queen Naomi, especially his uncle, have been dragging Kabiesi over the fact that they really want Kabiesi to grant Queen Naomi her freedom, such that uh, she will move on with her life because they believe that Kabiesi is intentionally keeping Queen Naomi uh, uh, in a place as in uh, pausing her life for the period of this uh, two years plus that she left him. And that is why they said the uncle from Australia, who is a pastor, have come out to drag Kabiesi, telling Kabiesi that this is unfair. Uh, she is treating Quinomi in this manner because Quinomi is not a royalty. Quinomi is just, see, let me tell you, Quinomi is royalty by marriage and she will remain royalty. Yes, so. So, for that reason, a lot of things have been going on wrong. They said the family of Queen Naomi and the uh, Oni of Ife have gathered. Uh, a lot of things have been said, a whole lot. And at the end of the day, they said uh, Queen Naomi told uh, the, his, uh, her family that God has spoken to her and they should give her and Kabi a sit time to sort out their married marital issue. Their marriage is for a man and a woman, even though uh, sometimes it will involve the extended families when it is not going on the way it ought to. But the fact remains that uh, her marriage with Kabiesi, it is divine. That is what they say she said, that God has spoken to her, that God is telling her to wait. Because a lot of people, there was a time we even heard that when Nomi made it clear to Kabi Esi that after uh, June, at the end of the June, if she's not able to come back to the palace, that she's going to leave for good, that Kabi Esi must grant her freedom. But to everybody's utmost surprise, even at the end of the June, when Nomi is now defending Kabi Esi, you know, saying that uh, God spoke to her, that it is not time yet, and KBS is the only man she will know in her life. KBS is this, and if you check it, KBS is the only man that she have ever known in her life. That same KBS have did something to her that no other man can cross her. I don't just know. I believe that the God she serves is a good God, and God doesn't allow her people, as especially those of them who serve Him in truth and in honest, to pass through certain. Uh, stress of life without a reason. I believe that there is a reason. There is a reason for God to make her to keep herself until she got married to Kabiesi. There is also a reason why God allowed Kabiesi to do that into her so that no other person will cross her. I believe there is a reason. And whatever that she's passing through right now, I also believe that there is a reason. Yes, and another thing we should know is that, you see, the children of God, especially those dedicated ones, if some of them tell you their stories, you will be marveled. You will be like, so you are, you are serving God and you are passing through all of this. It did not start from us. Even those people in the Bible that a lot of us look up to, many of them passed through things like this, and they did not stop being uh, children of God. They did, they did not stop serving God. They did not stop being servant to God. Take a Job, for instance. We do know how Job passed through a whole lot. And the, the devil tempted Job, uh, Job. But before that happens, God give 
uh, his consent because without God's consent, certain things will not be happening to the children of God. But the only thing that God told Satan when he wanted to tempt Job because Job, uh, Satan believed that Job is faithful to God because of all that she have, all that he have. He have money, he have children, he have everything you can think of. He have servants here and there. He have animals, cow, goats, lions, everything. Name it. Job have everything that life can offer. So Satan believed that the reason why uh, Job is serving God in truth and in honesty is because God gave all of those things to uh, him. God told Satan that. Even if Job does not have any of these things, he will still serve me. And when Satan doubted it, God gave Satan permission to take away the things that Job have, but not his life. God sounded it as a warning to uh, Satan. Don't tamper with his life. God, as uh, a devil, t- took away everything. He took away his children, his wealth, he even afflicted him with a, a very severe sickness that even made the wife to leave him. At the end of the day, Job was able to recover time ten of all of those things because he did not curse God on the process. He, he's not serving God because of what God has given to him. And it's still a, a lesson to us today. Don't serve God. Don't believe in God because of what you are going to get from God. Believe God because he's worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be believed in. So I believe that whatever that Queen Naomi is passing through today, she's not the first to pass through that. Yes. But at the end of the day, I know and I am very sure that the same God that placed her there, the same God that allowed her to go married to that man, is going to bless him abundant, bless her abundantly. God is going to show her his face. And I believe that her marriage with Kabiesi is going to stand and stand uh, uh, the test of time. But what they are experiencing right now is trials and temptation of which every marriage have their own. Maybe their own is too much because they are celebrities and everybody is talking about them. There are people that have divorced after like seven years, five years. They still come back together. Have you not heard of that? Some of them say the husband will not be taking care of the children. The woman will be laboring and all of that, taking care of the children. But here, KBS is still doing everything that he needs to do as a, as a father to Tade Nikao. But the only difference here is that Kwenomi cannot meet with another man. God have his reasons for everything. He's only God that can explain this part very well. But all I do know is that they said the woman con- uh, uh, applauded her. I mean, Reverend Fuke applauded Queen Naomi for standing by her husband and her level of understanding these days. And I said, kudos to her. Let the will of God be done. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget that these are all alleged information. I wasn't there. Oh, always bear that in mind, okay? Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye. Love you guys.